Hey, this is Shriyari from Mr. Phone and today I stand in front of you not with a smartphone but with another accessory that's very close to it. So today we're going to take a look at the all new Gioni Smart Life smartwatch and I'm going to tell you if this is worth it. And spoiler alert, it is. But let me tell you why. So without any further ado, let's jump into this video. Before we jump into the video though, don't forget to subscribe to the Mr. Phone channel and also hit the bell icon right next to it so that you guys get notified when we put out an awesome new video. Now, Gioni's new smartwatch has looks to die for. It's certainly not the best design watch ever, but this comes in at a price point where you'd be lucky to have something that does not look sporty. And Gioni provides you a watch that looks deceptively more expensive. The first thing is that squarish design, which gives it a premium look and actually made a lot of people think for a second that I was using an Apple watch. Then we come to the body and where almost all of the products at this price range use polycarbonate for the whole body, Gioni actually uses a stainless steel grey top with of course the bag being still polycarbonate. This surely gives it that premium look that I like a lot. There are two buttons on either side of the watch. Now what functions they perform we'll learn later but I'm not the biggest fan of those buttons. They are well placed and have a slight texture but they are some of the mushiest buttons I've used. It's a small price to pay but it is one. The watch is also water resistant up to 5 ATM. The strap though is clearly where the compromise has been made. While the watch actually looks much more premium for the price, the strap could have actually used a little more premium touch. That said, you can easily replace it with any other standard strap, maybe even go for a leathery look if you're into it. Moving to the display, the display on this watch stretches along 1.3 inches diagonally and uses an IPS LCD technology which on paper makes the display better than others in this price range. Well, in my usage, and I can tell you that it easily falls in the top 85 to 90% at this price. The bezels are substantial, but the fact that the UI uses a lot of black backgrounds actually makes the bezels almost disappear at times. The touch response is pretty good and I don't think you're going to get anything that's any better than this at this price. The display is also very well protected. It's a 2.5D curved glass and it's protected by Gorilla Glass which means that it should not get scratched easily and I can vouch for that because in my weeks of usage I've not gotten one single scratch on that watch. Moving to software, this is probably the area where the Gioni watch falls slightly behind. I want to begin with the watch's interface, which I think is a little different from what I expected. Well, for starters, it looks good, at least the standard clock face and the UI. But what I realized on using it more was that it feels less of a UI with various different elements and feels more like a very well working prototype because all these screens are basically images with touch areas. You'll realize this in a lot of areas in the UI and it's not necessarily a bad thing, but it does mean that customized will be sparse and that is exactly the case. There are only four watch faces as of now. The only one that at least looks a little customizable is the standard one and it's probably also the only one that is somewhat useful for most people. The watch does come with a slew of features though you get heart rate monitoring, sleep tracking and one click access to workout tracking that is the button on the left. So as soon as you click that button on the left you'll actually start a workout in three, two and one. There you go. The workout modes also vary from standard workouts like running, cycling, to even things like climbing and even yoga, which is pretty versatile. That said, the GBuddy app looks pretty good. And although it took me some time in the beginning to find the GBuddy app because it was not on the Play Store yet, it is actually right now available on the Play Store. The app is actually pretty good with the interface as well. There are a lot of fun UI elements there and you get good enough tracking for your sleep tracking, for your workouts, for your steps every day. So you get all those stuff that you get with a standard fitness app. It certainly could use customization elements that we can do on the watch and for an app it's pretty basic but it gets the job done. 
Moving to battery life, on this watch, it has been one of my favorite features. With a colorful LCD panel and a small 210mAh battery, I actually did not expect this watch to last for a long time. But what I can tell you is that in my usage, it almost averaged about 8 to 9 days of usage, which is pretty damn good, considering other watches that are out there with such a bright and colorful display. Of course, if you do not pull in notifications and maybe turn sleep tracking off, then you could even take this for 20 or 25 days even. The charging docks isn't among the most elegantly designed but once you get the watch docked it takes slightly over an hour to go from 0 to 100 percent with a 15 watt charger is what I use but a standard 10 watt charger should get it from 0 to 100 in slightly above one hour. And with that we come to an end of this review now. In the end the price of this Zioni watch is actually the one that makes it a very very nice deal. It goes for 2999 so rupees 2,999 is what you can get your hands on this watch for and that is actually almost dirt cheap price for the features and for the looks that you're getting here. This clearly does not look like a smart band for all other products at this price. Mostly you'll get something that's much thinner with a smaller display, maybe not even complete touch panels. You might get a slightly better app maybe with some of them, but this certainly beats most of them with the looks and the fact that it uses stainless steel grade metal on top and also Corninger glass for protection. But for someone who actually wants that fitness aspect but also wants something that looks elegant, that looks like a watch, uh, that you can also customize the look of with changing the straps if you want, then I think the Gioni Smart Life smartwatch is a very good option and for that 2999 price, I think you should just get it. And with that, I leave it to it. Thank you so much for watching. This is Shriyari from Mr. Foon with the review of this awesome little watch and I'll catch you in the next one.